I have many e-commerce brands. Some of them are pretty big. Like I bought Dress Barn, uh, which is one of the largest clothing companies by sales in the US, did 740 million in revenue before I bought it last year. It over about 70 million a month it was doing. We bought it and flipped it into an e-com brand. Okay, instead of having 650 department stores, put it all online, easier, delivered to people's door. So I've got experience, I've got a gro online grocery store, farmer's cart, I have mentor box, I have many businesses. In fact, me and my business partners, in the e-com space, we're now in the 10 figures of revenue. So eight figures is 10 million, nine figures is 100 million, 10 figures when you start getting into the big B, the billion. We've been doing it for, like I said, way over a decade. We spent $600 million on Facebook ads, YouTube ads. You've seen me probably on YouTube and Google and Snapchat and Twitter and all these. I shot a video and I was like, I haven't shot a video in a while. That's long. I said, look, I built a little test group called ECS, Ecom Certified Specialist. I built it to kind of use for interns because I've tried to hire people. I've hired people from Ivy League schools, Ivy League. Right, that's like Harvard, Yale, these type schools. I've already fired them. So I created this, you know, four month program that I use on interns and staff, divided into 16 lessons, goes through the four P's, product, pricing, promotions, placement, gives them that well-rounded, and now they can work for me. And some of them, some people work for me and then they go on. I have many people have worked for me and now go off to become e-com entrepreneurs. In fact, my best friend Jeremy from when I was two years old, he came to work for me for five years. He met a girl who was working for me. They got married. They launched an e-com brand called um, Omen All. It's a clothing brand out of the UK. He's never worked a day in his life since. In fact, I haven't seen him. He, he just travels around the world. He's in Bali right now through all this. And it's not a company that's making a hundred million bucks a year, but it makes some I don't know the exact amount, but it makes them probably 50, 60,000 a month, you know, profit. I don't know those numbers update, but I know it's significant amount compared to the average person. And I'm not, I'm not saying if you go through and learn e-com like my test group, you're going to become like my friend Jeremy. I'm just telling you, like, I built this training and my best friend <laughs> took it and transformed his life. He was studying to become a lawyer and then he came... I forget that, I'm gonna come work with you, die. So I've been building this, but I've never formalized it until last Friday, I put this thing out and I was like, let me just share this with the world, see if anybody want to get in. I did one Zoom live call, 700 people showed up and like people were pouring into it. So I built this step-by-step, -step, 16 week training. The end of the 16 weeks, there's an exam. If you pass it, you get a certification, Ecom Certified Specialist. Now it's not a college degree, I didn't go to college, so I'm not gonna give you a college degree. But it's a legitimate certification that you can use for yourself and it'll open some doors. A lot of people know me, know that I know e-com, know that I understand the game of online. And so it would open a door if you came to work for me, it'll open some doors. But ultimately what opens the doors is you having a real skill set. Now's the time to retrain the brain. Get in on this. So I'm gonna put a link below or here in the corners. Um, you can click it. Go read about how the test group works. Go read about the four month e-commerce certified specialist program. See if it's for you. I got some rules. You got to take this seriously. Like I've done it where I just open it up to the world and people don't want to take it seriously. And it's just like, this is one that's going to get saturated. So first come first serve, you know? And so I'm going to put this link. People don't realize what's the number one factor that creates wealth, that creates financial independence, catching new trends early. So always be on the lookout for new trends. So in 2016, October 2016, I made an announcement to the world. You probably saw videos, people go, oh, Ty, these videos are everywhere. Yep, I was making the prediction. I told people the biggest opportunity I know, I knew for an average person to go from maybe a job they didn't like or unemployment to something real was social media marketing, specifically starting a social media marketing agency. Now. A lot of people listened. I built like a test group. I trained over 100,000 people. And boy, in hindsight, now everybody knows like social media marketing agencies did very well. 
Obviously, social media is the marketing platform of choice Choice now. People aren't on TV. So forget all that. 2016, you missed out. What is that prediction I have for 2020? Simple, simple, simple. The opportunity is to become an e-commerce specialist. Now, you might say, oh, I already know e is big. No, no, an e-commerce specialist is different. It has three opportunities. When you're an e-com specialist, you can become an entrepreneur, you can use it to get a job, or you can use it to build an agency or consulting firm. So you can start as an entrepreneur, your own products you can sell, you can help a company that already uh, you know, needs a chief marketing officer or a chief di digital marketing officer, e-com officer, and then of course you can start a consulting firm where you come into businesses and you manage, you know, or you can even do an agency. Ecom specialist, you mark my words. 2016, I said being a social media marketing agency was the way to go. I'm saying now, e-commerce e -commerce specialist. Here's why. Well, first of all, go on the Forbes list. Most people forget to look at the Forbes list. You go to the Forbes list and you look at number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. You go all the way through the top 20. What's the number one pattern you see? Remember, you're looking for patterns. You want to reverse engineer success. You take the blueprint that people followed and you reverse engineer it backwards to wherever you are in life now. Okay, simple. They're mostly e-com people. Number one is Jeff Bezos, richest person in history, depending on what currency you use, but certainly the richest person of our time, commerce. Number two, Bill Gates, definitely e-commerce. You know, Microsoft is all products that you buy online and are delivered directly, digital downloads. Now you got Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett's a mix because he has 92 brands. A lot of them though are e-com, okay? He's out now, by the way, the largest Apple shareholder, I think, in the world. Apple, massive e-com company. Think about it. Now they do have stores, but of course the store's been closed down and the times we live in now, all those iPhones, pure e-com play. Then you have, you know, Google guys. Two wealthy co-CEOs of Google, pure e-com. Then you have Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, everything he does is e-com. Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. Steve Ballmer, seventh richest man in the world. He's with Bill Gates. And the list goes on and on. There's a few exceptions, but the majority of people are e-com. So the proof is all there. It comes down to you being like, when do I want to get on this train? Because a lot of people are slow. Jeff Bezos started in 1994. I started in 2001. Some people are like, oh, I thought you're just a social media guy that just popped in in 2015. I'm like, man, I was 14 years before I put my face on social media. I was already doing e-com. Started in 2001, Google Ads. 2001, 2002. Anyway, I made the prediction. I wanted to put that out there on YouTube, on Facebook, all over the place so people know. 2020, Ty called it again. Become a real deep domain e-commerce specialist. And so I'm going to put this link. It's open for three more days. 